Hey guys, Monkey here. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to create the monster track showed in my previous video. Link in the description. Um, and I'll split this tutorial in two parts. And in the second part I'll be uh, doing the um, automatic thrust boost in slopes and other tweaks like that. <coughs> and let's start by building the monster track. Uh, so spawn three of these. Um, iron beams in useful and explosive props uh, phoenix mod and freeze them in place like this and get your weld tool and weld them like this <coughs> I'll be speeding this up a bit um, otherwise this will take forever and get two smaller beams get this tool friction 5 uh, also no collide is good and freeze them like this and access the center of them to the frame and make sure you access the center because otherwise when you put the wheels on uh, these beams will sag so this is uh, just for balance just align this properly. Yeah, that's good. Now get your uh, rope tool. Make sure it's rigid. <coughs> the rest of the settings don't matter. Uh, wire like this. Uh, sorry, rope. Um, and now, if I unfreeze these, as you can see, they follow each other smoothly. Let's just freeze them. Okay, and now let's make the uh, upper body of the uh, monster track. Let's get your stacker tool and uh, set the offset up to 60. Um, it's a world here, not prop. And up, count one, and uh, uh, freeze weld, no collide props. They don't really matter, just stack here. Now spawn a <coughs> two by four metal plate in Phoenix spawn. Freeze it and weld one step in from the edge so it's uh, aligned properly. Freeze the plate and get your remover tool and remove that. <coughs> so now we have a perfectly aligned plate. Okay, now spawn go to useful and explosive props and spawn the four of these smallest iron beams and freeze them like this and <coughs> get your easy weld tool and just weld these. Now go to wire and down to physics and hydraulic. Make sure fixed is checked and I'll make mine a little thicker and on the front you can just two steps in from the edge and right click and they will go straight down and place the controller same here and on the back it's a little bit trickier just place it like, uh, like that there just make sure the back ones are the same as each other the rest doesn't really matter uh, and get that there yeah that's fine place controller okay if I unfreeze this you can see it flexes pretty good but it's leaning a little bit forward so we'll fix that uh, get a, a um, constant value uh, one value I think um, 85 will uh, be a pretty good value uh, place that there get your wire tool and wire the length of the hydraulics to the constant value and as you can see it's flat but it's a little bit off on the back but we'll add more weight there soon so that's fine 
Okay, let's just put this a little bit higher up. Whoops, sorry. <coughs> okay. Um, let's do our steering hydraulics. Um, go to wire hydraulics again. Uh, uncheck fixed. I'll just make these a little thinner. And put the hydraulics like this to the center of this beam place controller and oh sorry uh, these make sure these beams are as straight as possible yeah, like that I think that's good maybe a little bit more yeah that's good okay now hydraulic like this to the center okay and as you can see uh, the lengths are pretty much alike 84.05 84.23 that's good enough for us so we'll just um, round that to 84 <coughs> And now let's spawn something to uh, sit on. So go to general construction, fields, and spawn a little cube like this. So that was a little bit big. Yeah, that's fine. Just um, weld that to the plate. That's good. Now get your uh, go to vehicle. And uh, I think uh, we'll be using a um, advanced pod controller later. And I think the airboat seed, jeep seed, and the pod works with the pod controller. So I'll just pick a jeep seed, freeze it there, and weld it to this little cube here. That's fine. Go to wire, advanced pod controller and get the pod controller and the pod controller what it does is it's uh, it basically connects our keyboard to uh, the wire system and make sure you right click the pod controller and right click uh, the seat otherwise it won't work um, okay and now I'll just create a, a bunch of chips and I'll uh, tell you what I'm doing while okay so constant value need two values oh yeah first I'll explain our steering um, <coughs> when we will be um, the steering will be with the uh, AWS and D keys and what will uh, happen is that when we uh, for example when we turn left we will press A and uh, when we turn left we want this beam to turn this way and that is essentially the hydraulic length being shorter so it will you know pull this beam closer uh, but here it's the opposite we want this beam to go like this so this will have to be pushed out uh, and this the length of this hydraulic will be longer <coughs> so uh, ball line uh, when we turn left this hydraulic will be shorter and this hydraulic will be longer and uh, they will have to be uh, this hydraulic will have to be uh, longer by the same value as this gets shorter so this is at 84 and I wanna uh, shorten the value of this when we turn left by 25 so this will be 25 longer when we turn left and it's the opposite when we turn right so this will get shorter by 25 and this will get longer by 25. <coughs> okay.